Hey, it's Alex Laughlin's dad, drag racing. Well, yes, that's what I'm known as these days, is, is Alex Laughlin's dad. Yeah, most people forget I'm Kenny, but that's exactly what they call me, is Alex's dad. <laughs> I think it's awesome and I think it's about time, you know, uh, he kind of got out of the seat back around 2015, 2016 when I started running pro stock just to be able to kind of travel to the races and support me better there. Um, and uh, now, you know, he, you know, life get, gets, gets away from you, we'll say that. And it's been almost 10 years and heck, it's just time for him to get back into a car. Double 09, Alex Laughlin. Almost three hundredths of a second advantage. Too much for Bo to overcome, and the Gas Monkey crew celebrate with the walling. Did you ever think that your son would absolutely pass you in terms of oh, drag racing? Oh, I never ball? really thought about it, but he's always been kind of a, I don't know, the word natural or whatever, if we decided to go hunting or shooting, you know, of a pretty good shot, he could pick a gun up and then all of a sudden just out shoot you. So I. I guess since he got the bug of drag racing, it's always kind of been like that. But I never would have dreamed he would have went this far in his career driving, you know, top fuel cars and pro stock cars and pro mod cars. And uh, I really didn't think he'd go that far, but he's uh, it's been a good ride. Yeah. Did you ever think about taking him into rocket science? No, I just hope they don't have stick horse racing because that'd be the next thing he'd do. Yeah. <laughs> what is it about drag racing? That, that lured you in first and then encouraged you to bring your son into it. The camaraderie of the competitors, the people uh, at the race. Uh, it's, we, you know, we tractor pulled, we drag raced, but drag racing, uh, I started way back in high school, actually in the old Green Valley days, which is a long time ago, kind of really dates me, but it just, uh, I just got bit by the bug and then, you know, you know, street race, did everything in the world you could do in a car, but it's just, uh, and then whenever he was, Real young, we go kart raced, and then 15, we bought him a top dragster, and then ever since it's been hammered down. You know? I mean, if you race two classes compared to your son, who's like the Swiss Army guy for drag, yeah. you'd look like a one trick pony. Oh, right? that's true, that's true, that's true. He, it doesn't matter what it is, he'll just drive it, I guess, yeah. So, where did he get that, that from? You know, I don't know, I, I really don't know. He always likes doing a lot of things and I guess I'm kind of guilty of that too. It's just like I, I'm not really ever satisfied with just one thing and, and maybe that's what it is about that. He just uh, just wants to see what he can do. And uh, uh, I really don't, the other, the other than just uh, pure desire and drive, I guess is what it amounts to. Dad have his day in the sun. Now you got to come out here and his playground. Well, to be completely honest, I was a hundred percent down for him to just have his day in the sun, and we took his car to no problem. And it was just him and I uh, had a good time. We're learning things with this dragster, and then coming into this race, um, originally he had decided that he was going to drive the Kaminsky's car, and asked if I would drive his dragster. And I thought, well, no problem, you know. And uh, now that we got here, we kind of actually put our eyes on the Kaminsky car and whatnot. That thing is a full-blown pro stock car, right? Every single fundamental about that car is exactly the same as a pro stock car. And in my opinion, I figured it would be harder to learn all of those fundamentals as well as try to make runs and be competitive out here all within the course of two days, three days versus him just driving his own car and he said you know what you're 100 percent right and even though i do have you know maybe thousands of runs in a pro stock car that thing there is still foreign enough that it's throwing me off you know i haven't been in the seat of a pro stock car for two years and so it's a totally totally steep learning curve even even for me so i think this is probably best case scenario He couldn't just let you have your own day in the sun out. Oh, he no, no. Out he here. had to come out here. But, he, but there again, he, 
he wants to support me because I support him a lot, you know, and I really hadn't raced long, in a long time. And, and so, you know, this is his only weekend off for a while. And so he, here again, he is, uh, you know, he drove last week in uh, Vegas and then next week he's in, uh, we're in Charlotte, so but this weekend he came to Oklahoma with me, so uh, it's kind of neat. It's a good father-son deal. It really is. So how bad do you want to beat him? Oh, real bad, real bad. Yeah, real bad. I, I, matter of fact, I'd give him the slower car if I thought I had one. <laughs> I think from father to father, you probably inspired him. Son, don't put your eggs all in one basket. Yes, that's true. That's true. That's kind of how I've always done my business too. Try not to do that. You know, you just do it, diversify and. And that's kind of his deal, you know. You know, he could drive, you know, maybe not the best at everything, but you know, he can drive anything. So that's, you're right. That's about the exact answer I guess I should give. Yeah. Why top eliminated? The diversity in the class. Uh, I mean, I, I, I like I said, I, I, when I decided to come back, I've run comp eliminated before. When I decided to come back, I bought a car. A guy changed his mind and back out. I throwed this car together, and now I've already decided to build another car for another class. And uh, it's the diversity and, and uh, the, the uniqueness of every car. Every car out here is somewhat different, even if it's the same exact class. Everybody's got a different power plant or different way of getting there. Uh, and I guess it's uh, engineering. I, I like engineering. And I guess the, the comp eliminator would probably be the engineers of all drag racing as far as I'm concerned.